Hello there. Welcome to Chandu.org on YouTube. In this lesson, we are going to compare two lists of values to see the common values. This is a very uh, frequent problem in business analysis. You usually have a, a list of values that pertain to two different situations or two different periods of time or whatever, and you would like to compare them one with another to see what are the common values or what are the missing items in one list or another. So I'm going to show two different solutions. One is a simple solution and one is a complex solution. Depending on the nature of your work and the problem that you have at hand, you can use both of them. Over to Excel. So here is a simple scenario. You got uh, some customer names for two months, let's say June 2019 and July 2019. And you would like to simply compare them to see which customers have uh, done business with us in both months. This is simple in the sense that you only have one column to compare. So when you have something like this, here is the simplest trick. This will only take like 10 seconds to compare. Select the first list and then hold down control, select the second list. So I'll repeat this, select the first list, hold down control, select the second list. Once you have multi-selected like this, from your home, conditional formatting, highlight, duplicate values. This will instantly highlight all the values that are present in both lists, right? So this is one of the easiest ways to compare two lists for common values. You could also highlight the other way around. All you have to do is, I will undo this step, highlight, duplicate, and where it says duplicate, if you say unique, what that would do is it will highlight the unique values that are present in either of the lists alone, right? That's the simple situation. Now let's go and take a look at the complex one. Here we are trying to compare two tables for common values. Table one is like this, table two is like this. The common value would be any value where both city and customer matches. So for example, Cicadu ThoughtWorks is available in both tables and that's what I would consider as a common value. How do you highlight this? Now when you have something like this, the best method to do this would be to actually use Power Query rather than Excel. You could load both these tables into Power Query and then from there you can join them and then bring the merge table with whatever results you want. All the common values or all the values that are only in the first table or second table or vice versa. But let's say you are not able to use Power Query. You are interested in doing this in Excel. So how would we go about that? Well, in such situations, normally you could apply conditional formatting, but it tends to get a little more complicated. So for that reason, what I, what I prefer to do is, I try to add a helper column in either of these tables. Let's say this is my table, and here I want to see all the values that are present in the second table as well. So I can say, uh, present in other table, question mark, and then this one, we will simply use our good count ifs formula. What it does is it counts how many times a value is present in a list. So we could select multiple criteria. So count ifs criteria range one is all the cities in my July data in this particular city. And then all the customers in my July data in this particular customer. So what we are asking is count how many times this city and customer combination exists in the other table. We will get some ones and zeros, assuming there is only one value present in the other table. And at this point, all you have to do is highlight anything that is one. So you can select this table, go to conditional formatting, highlight. Of course, when you do it like this, it won't be easy. So what we will do is we will do a new rule, use a formula, and then the formula would be based on that column. So it will always look in column D, so we would change this reference style to $D4 is equal to one, or probably greater than zero, and then format fill 
a color like this. So this would highlight that. Once you have done that, you can hide away this column so that the common values are available. Now let's say you are not a fan of this kind of a method, right? How would you do it then? In such case, you can actually write this entire formula inside conditional formatting form formula. Remember how we did this here? We went to conditional form formatting and then here we said D4. So where we are saying D4, we could have written our countifs formula, countifs, and then we can write the formula there. Uh, so we will be saying that table this value that table this value make sure your referencing styles are absolute and relative like this and then greater than zero so this would provide the same result but we are no longer using column d so this is how you can compare two tables now that's the complex method but as i said earlier the preferred method for this kind of situations is to use Power Query. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate that as well. For that, I'm going to copy this worksheet. Uh, and then we will call this as PP, sorry, PQ. And I will delete this column altogether. I will clear all the formatting rules. So we now have two tables. This one, I will call this as June Data 1. And then this is July data one, right? Because the same names are there in the other table. Now what I can do is I can load this table into Power, Power Query by selecting any cell here and then say, get data, sorry, from table. That'll just load my July June data one to Power Query. It'll flicker the screen. Eventually Power Query will load up here. So here is Power Query with that data. We are going to quickly make another query here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I will just uh, duplicate this one and then call this as July data one. And then from here where it says source, I'll just change my source name to July data. So we get both tables, right? So I got my June data table, July data table. And then what I want to do is I want to merge these two and return only the common values. So we could do this but from home, merge queries as new. We could also merge into one of the existing queries, but uh, usually it's better if you just merge it into a new query, then you have the luxury of just keeping the original ones intact. So we select the first table is June data, and the second table is July data. So this is June and that's July. And if you have only one column, you simply select that and that it matches. But because we got a combination, you have to select both city, hold down control and then select customer. Likewise city and customer. So when you multi-select, Power Query will give you that numbers to tell you what is the order in which they should be treated. So one and two and one and two. So one matches with one, two matches with two and it will try to find overlaps. And it's saying the section has matched six out of 14 rows. That means I found six common values, right? You could also tell how you want to join. The default is left outer. What it means is the top table have all the values and the bottom table, wherever the matching values, they will be present. If there is no matching value, it will simply say null. Uh, ideally, if you're really looking for just the common values, then you can also change this criteria uh, to all rows from both. What this would do is, uh, sorry, only matching rows. And then that would just give me those six rows that are matching. You can also change to other types of joins, but this is pretty much what we need. We'll click OK. And uh, in a minute, it will give me that table. So it will merge and then it will give me the corresponding data from the other table. We only needed common records. We don't need that table. So I can remove that column. And uh, this is our merged data, right? And then what I can do is I can just, if I click on close and load, all these three tables will be loaded. We don't want that. So we'll simply say close and load to. That would show me a prompt here. And uh, we will just uh, create connections for everything. The connections will show up here and then 
I could just tell Power Query that I only want my merged data as a table. Oops, uh, new worksheet. And this will contain my merged data, the only the common values. So it's no longer highlighting or anything, but it's giving me the actual common values that are present in both tables. So this is the preferred method when you have complex data or large data sets and you don't want to really highlight, you just want to get the merged results, common values, then use Power Query. But if it is simple, then use conditional formatting like this. If it is complex, write a simple formula like this that does the count ifs on both tables and then tells you where it found the matches. But for really large data sets or complex matching situations, always use Power Query. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos on our channel. Thanks. Bye.